Hello friends, welcome to Washington, D.C. I'm here in front of the National Gallery of Art. Let's go and check this place out. I'm in, finally. Took a couple trips to the metal detector, but I'm in. They're serious about their security in this gallery. There is some amazing art from what I understand here. I assume so. It's the National Gallery of Art. There's gotta be some really cool stuff, but I don't know what to expect. I don't know who is here, what artists are here. In line in front of me while I was waiting to get in, there were some copyists. It's interesting, a group of about five copyists who were specific to a certain type of artist, and they were here, you know, their conversations about what art they were painting, and it was, it was pretty neat, carrying their art stuff with them, but they were like, assumably, the best of the best. They're copying some of these most famous artists. So, let's go see some of that art. So there are two buildings and the gardens. This map is opened up already. Here's the gardens, which is just adjacent to the building that we're in right now. So we're gonna try to see as much art as we can here. And then if we have time, we'll make it over here to the east building. The rotunda of this place is very impressive. Now it's time to actually see some of the art. This room is a lot of Rembrandt, portraits from Rembrandt. Dutch 17th century. Oh, ship. There's a lot of ship paintings in here. I see three right, right here. This whole room is paintings of sailing ships from the 17th century. This is really, really nice to see. I like, I like these nautical type of paintings. This one's a little stressful right here, but uh, for the most part, I like these nautical ones. Yeah, these sailors are totally stressed out right now. Uh, look at those rocks coming closer and closer. Looks like a copy is set up for probably this painting right here. This painting was done sometime before 1682. It looks brand new. The security guard back here is being very helpful. And right now, she is drawing on the map places that I could go to in a quick amount of time because I have to catch a flight. I do not want to be late. So I can walk around this place most efficiently. She's really helping me out. So I'll get back to you in just a second. This painting by William Kalf was painted in 1665. Something very bad has happened to some of these critters in here. Which one is the culprit? Is it that little puppy dog right there? Is it that bird? Is it this suspicious looking pigeon? Hmm. 1610. Mm -hmm. Here's the plan. We're gonna see Da Vinci. Van Gogh and the Rembrandt paintings. This is Rembrandt's Descent from the Cross, 1652. Young man seated at a table, 1660. Forest scene, 1665. I've seen a lot of Rembrandt. I appreciate it. Now it's time to move on. How about some Van Gogh? I see sunflowers, but that is not a Van Gogh. This gallery is Monet. The Japanese footbridge in 1899. This is a Renoir. It's a girl with a watering can. Another Renoir, the dancer. Another Claude Monet from 1874. The bridge 
at Argentuli. <laughs> Can't say the word very well. Argentil, Argentil. Roses from 1890. This gallery is really amazing. They have Gauguin and Degas and one other very well-known artist in here aside from all of this Van Gogh. Self-portrait, oil on wood, 1889. These galleries just continue and continue and they're full of amazing, amazing art. I am on a timeline today though, friends. I've got to get to the airport very soon. And I try to see a couple more pieces on the list here, but I don't know if we're gonna have time for much more. I'm gonna have to make my way back here to this museum, to this gallery and really take my time on the day where I have a couple more hours to spend here. Another copier. Now let's check out some Da Vinci. Well, not exactly where I thought we were going to be going today, but I guess I guess that's what's what's happening. It's time to go through hell. That's amazing. It's like, I have no idea how people's brains work that do that kind of stuff. It's amazing. Now we're entering the bottom level of the gallery. This Niagara, painted in 1857 by Frederick Edwin Church, is pretty, pretty nice. It's impressive. Looking for Napoleon. Does Napoleon not look a little bit like Putin? I mean, just a little bit. You see the resemblance? Yeah, maybe it's just me. So much more art to see. And it goes on and on and on. I have wondered as long as I can. I, I hate making this a quick trip, but 
I think that's about all we have time for. If I see some, oh, here's a, here's a really good one. Let me get you a better view. It's a good last painting to end our time here in Washington, D.C. George Washington. Well, thanks for joining me today, friends, here at the <laughs> National Gallery of Art. This has been a really short but really amazing view at some of the best paintings that we have here in our country. And some of those artists I've never seen before. I don't believe I've ever seen a Monet or a Gauguin in person. Uh, so the the self-portrait of Van Gogh was my favorite. I'll have to say there's some others that I wanted to see, but I didn't have time. So next time we will we'll slow roll our way through and find some other amazing pieces of art. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here at this really cool collection of paintings. I appreciate your company. See you in the next video. National Gallery of Art Sculpture Gardens. We'll have to wait until next time.